Click on New Family option. Go to Family Templates. If you do not get Family Template folder, try it at this location. Or download from the link in the description. Open English Imperial folder. Select Window Family Template and open it. This is Plan View. We will open 3D View. We can see that Window Family Template has created a window hole with default dimensions on the wall. Now we will build an exterior window frame. Open Elevation View. Go to Create tab then click on Extrusion button. Select Rectangle Draw option and draw outer edges of outer frame. As per window opening, now draw inner edges of outer frame inside. Click on Finished to complete outer frame. Open 3D view. We can see that frame is thicker than wall. We will adjust thickness in plan view. Align inner and outer edge of outer frame with wall edges. We have created outer frame of window. Now we will create inner frames of window. Just like outer frame. We will create two inner frames of a sliding window. Inner frame must be inside outer frame. And they will be overlapping at the midpoint. Our first inner frame has been created. Now let's create second inner frame at right side. Now let's view the inner frames in 3D view. We need to adjust the thickness of inner frame. We will open reference level. Align inner frames with center line of wall. Keep one inner frame below center line and other inner frame above the center line so that both inner frames can slide. Now let's open 3D view to see inner frames. We have established the outer frames and inner frames of a window. Now we will create glass panels. Open elevation view. Now we will create glass panels inside of inner frames. Go to Create tab and then click on Extrusion. Draw rectangle inside of inner frame. Click on Finish. Similarly, we will create second glass panel inside of second inner frame. Let's see our window in 3D view. Now we will adjust thickness of glass panels. Select glass panel then change the thickness from 1 feet to 1.5 inches in properties panel. For second panel change it to minus 1.5 inches. Now modeling of window frames and glass panels is complete. Now we will assign materials. Select frame then go to materials in properties panel. In the material browser some default materials have already been created. We want to create a new material as aluminum. Here we will create new material. Now change the name to aluminum. Open appearance tab and change the color to gray. Change highlights to metallic. Click apply and then OK to assign the material to frames. We can see material in realistic view. Select glass panel to assign glass material. Click on material and select glass material to assign on glass panel. Similarly, we will assign materials on remaining panels and frames. Now we will set up parameters for our window. We can see that window template has created some default parameters. In elevation view, we can see window height and window sill height parameter. In reference level view, we can see window width parameter. Now we will create few more parameters and then connect our elements to these parameters. 
open Elevation View and then go to Create Tab. Then click on Reference Plane. Choose Pick Line Draw option and change offset to 2 inches. Now create two more reference plans in each direction. Now we will use a line tool to attach. And lock these reference planes with elements. Click on Outer Reference Plane, then click on Outer Frame Line. Now click on Padlock to attach and lock this element line with Reference Line. Similarly, we will attach all the external frame outer lines. Now we will attach outer frame inner line and inner frame lines with the remaining reference planes. Now repeat the steps to other side. Similarly, we will attach top and bottom side elements to the reference planes. Now we will attach middle frame elements to middle reference planes. Now we will define parameters. Go to Create then click on Family Types. Click on New Parameter. Change the name to Outer Frame Width. Press OK and now create one more parameter. Name it Inner Frame Width. Now our parameters have been defined. Go to Modify tab then from Measure Tools click on Align Dimension. Now click on two outer reference planes to place a dimension. Repeat the step in other direction as well. Now place a dimension at top and bottom side of window. Now we will place dimension at inner reference planes. Now select all the outer reference plane dimensions. Go to Label Dimension Panel and click on Label Drop Down button. Select Outer Frame Width Parameter. Now we will select Inner Dimensions. Go to Labels and assign them Inner Frame Parameter. For the overlapping part of Windows, we will assign dimensions. Select Align Dimension Tool. Now click on three reference planes. Click outside to finish command. Click on small EQ sign to make them equal on both sides. Now assign dimension on inner frame reference lines. Select this dimension and assign label inner frame width. Our window family is ready now let's test this window in a project. Open a new architectural project. Draw a wall here. Now go to Window Family Fall and then click on Load into Project. Place this window on wall. Now open Elevation View to see window. This is our window in Elevation. Select it and then click on Edit Type. Now change height and width of this window. Click OK to see if it works. Our new dimensions have been applied to window. Change sill height to 1 feet. Now let's check other parameters. Click on Edit Type. Change outer frame width to 1 inch. Now click on Apply and OK. We can see that our outer frame width has reduced. Now we will see how our window looks in realistic view. This is how our window looks in Elevation View. Open Plan View. Now go to View tab. In 3D View, click on drop down arrow, then click on Camera View. Now click and drag towards window to capture view. Our camera view has been created. Now let's render this view. Click on Render. Now adjust settings and click on Render. This is the render view of our window. Now we will create a window legend. Go to View tab. Click on Legend. Name it Window Legend. Now go to Families in Project Browser. Go to Windows and then Window Imperial. 
Now drag and drop this family into the legend view. Click this window and change the view from plan to elevation view. Now let's assign dimension to our window. Assign dimension at top and side of window. Now let's change window size. To check if our dimension works in legend view, we will change width to 6 feet. We can see that dimensions in legend view have been changed automatically. Now if we want to show directional arrows, we will open elevation U in window family. Create a reference plane in the mid of window. Assign dimensions and make them equal. Now we will draw symbolic lines from Annotation tab. Here we will draw arrows in direction of sliding window. Now click on Load into Project. Now go to Window Legend View to see directional arrows. We can see directional arrows here. We can create complex window families considering these steps. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe our channel to see more videos.